Here's how to use Aave, one of the largest crypto liquidity protocols in the world with over $16 billion worth of assets on the platform. Aave is a decentralized crypto money market where you can earn yield on your crypto by lending it out or use your crypto as collateral to borrow even more crypto. Hey guys, James here. I'm going to show you how to set up Aave, how to get assets onto the protocol using a crypto wallet, how to borrow and lend assets, and an overview of how to navigate the system. Other helpful videos and resources you may need are in the video description alongside the video timestamps. The Aave liquidity protocol can be found at Aave.com. I'll link it in the description for you. You can see though that there's almost $17 billion worth of assets flowing through this liquidity protocol, which is quite insane. On the main page, you will see the different markets right here. So let's just go over them. We have the Aave V1 market. This is actually slowly being phased out in favor of Aave V2. Version two is a better version for a number of reasons, which I'll go over in a second. We also have the automated market maker market. Then we have the polygon market. So when it comes to Aave V2, this lets you link up with the Polygon blockchain, but use all of your Ethereum based tokens. If you don't know what that means, I'll explain it through the video. But essentially, we've got the Aave V2 market, which is the V1 upgrade, and that gives us lower fees, anywhere up to 50% lower fees. You also get lower volatility in terms of interest rates, and you can swap your collateral into repayment of a loan. So if you want to borrow uh, some stable coins, and you have some collateral on the protocol to actually go ahead and borrow, then you can actually use that collateral to pay back the loan, which is something that you couldn't do in V1. So it's just a better platform altogether. The AMM market is a little bit different. It lets you put Uniswap liquidity provider tokens on the platform. Now, a lot of people use Uniswap. They actually provide liquidity on Uniswap themselves and earn fees for providing that liquidity. Well, Uniswap gives you a separate token when you do that called an LP token. On the Aave AMM market, you can also use those LP tokens as collateral to borrow against. So if you've put up some tokens into Uniswap and you're earning some of the trading fees, you can use those LP tokens in the AMM market and actually borrow stable coins against them, which you can then go and do anything you want with. That is a little complex for this video, but moving on to the Polygon market, I have a separate video on Polygon, how to use it and how to set it up. But essentially what it lets you do is take all of your Ethereum based tokens, put them over onto the Polygon blockchain and then use them as you would on Ethereum, but with much lower fees. And we're going to concentrate on that Polygon market in this video so you can see how everything works. Coming down on the homepage, you can see an overview of markets. And really what you have here is the asset on the left hand side, whatever it may be. We also have the market size. So the amount of liquidity provided on the platform right here and the total amount of that liquidity that is borrowed. Then we have a deposit and a borrow APY and APR. An APY is an annual percentage yield. So this is the annualized percentage that you would be getting as income if you deposit on the platform and lend out your assets. So for Matic tokens right now, the annual yield is 1.21% and that is a compounded amount. If you want to borrow Matic tokens, so you actually want Matic tokens for some other reason or even DAI or a stable coin like USDC, you can see the borrow rate right here. So this is how much you would actually be paying in interest to borrow these assets. Below this, you can also see another box. We're actually in the Polygon market right now. As you can see, we've selected that. And on the Polygon market, currently as of making this video anyway, they are running an incentive program. What that means is that you get Matic tokens for using the platform with the Polygon blockchain. So if you deposit, let's say for example, USDC, you'll be getting 2.19% as an interest rate back in USDC, but you'll also be getting 0.96% APR in Matic tokens as well. So a bonus on top of the interest that you're receiving is new Matic tokens that you can use in any way that you want, and they can be deposited in your wallet, just like the interest you'll be getting when you loan out the tokens on the left-hand side. To use Aave then, we do need to connect a wallet. So we have to come up into Enter App, and that will load the app for us, and it will ask us to connect a wallet up in the top right-hand corner. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the correct market selected. So once we're in the app, you can either choose the Ethereum based Aave V2 market. So you'll be using the Ethereum blockchain. You can use the AMM market if you have those Uniswap LP tokens, or you can come and use the Polygon market. 
If you wanna use the Polygon market, then you do have to have a Polygon wallet set up. I have a dedicated video on that. I'll link that in the description if you wanna know how to set that up. We're gonna click on the Polygon market right here. So it's selected for us. Then in the top right hand corner, you can see Connect Wallet. I'm gonna go and connect my MetaMask. So I'm gonna click on Connect. And there are many options here. So if you have maybe a Coinbase wallet or a Ledger or a Trezor or any others, you can use those through Wallet Connect. I'm gonna connect up my MetaMask right here. So click on Browser Wallet and it's already found my MetaMask. But if I click on my extensions, you can see my MetaMask right here. It is set up with the Matic mainnet. So I've got that right here. You can choose Ethereum mainnet if you're using the Aave v2 market. I'm gonna be using the Matic mainnet. Again, if you don't know how to link up the Polygon blockchain with MetaMask or you don't know what MetaMask is, all of those videos are in the description for you so you can get those set up before using Aave. I have the wallet set up though, and I do have some Matic tokens in there, and I also have some stable coins. If you need to buy Matic tokens or stable coins, you can use an exchange like Binance and then get them right into your wallet. I'll leave the link to Binance below if you don't have an exchange as yet. But right now we are in the markets tab. So we can see the actual market on the Polygon Aave market right here, and we have our wallet connected. So we can see the actual market as it stands. We have Matic tokens right here. We have some USDC stable coins, USDT stable coins. And then if you want to use wrapped Bitcoin and get that onto your wallet, you can also earn a small yield for putting Bitcoin on there as well. What we're gonna do is look at a market. So we can come right into the USDC market right here just by clicking it and it will give us a better overview. Firstly, on the left-hand side, you can see the variable APY. So what we can see is that it hasn't really changed too much. It was definitely higher in May when there was a lot of demand for cryptocurrencies. And even during the last peak in prices, you can see that demand for a stable coin like USD coin was very high. And so you would be getting 14% APY return on lending it out. Right now, demand is down a little bit. So we're hovering around 3%. As we move over to the right hand side, you can see utilization rate. So this is the amount of coins that are actually uh, being borrowed compared to the available liquidity. So users on the system have actually got around $316 million worth of USDC ready to lend out that hasn't already been borrowed. So you can just see that very easily here that almost a billion dollars is actually being borrowed right now. And we have uh, this green portion, which is available for other borrowers to come in and borrow if they want. We can very easily see the deposit APY that we would be getting if we lend out our tokens, we'd be getting a 2% APY. And if you want to borrow, you have to pay about 3.29%. Something to note about USDC or US dollar coin is that it can be used as collateral for a loan. So if you want to loan some money, you do need some collateral on the system to loan against, you can use USDC as collateral. For the time being on the Polygon market, you can't use US dollar tether. Next up, we can go to the top and look at staking. So Aave as a protocol allows for staking and they will pay you for staking Aave on the platform as of making this video anyway, a 7.24% yield. So when you stake, Aave on the platform, you'll be getting Aave tokens back at this current rate. Something to note is that you can only do this on the Ethereum mainnet right now. So you can't stake those if you're using the Polygon blockchain. If you don't have any Aave tokens, you can use a centralized exchange like Binance to buy them and then switch them over to your MetaMask. Again, the link is in the description if you want to go ahead and do that. If you do stake Aave on the platform and you have some rewards, they will be right in here for you. So you can see Aave staked and the claimable Aave. So any Aave rewards that you get will be right in here. You can see this claim button right here. You can just click claim and that will open up a transaction with your MetaMask wallet and they'll be deposited into your wallet. If you do stake Aave tokens on the platform as well, you will be able to vote in the governance portion of the protocol. So what this means is that anyone who actually has a significant amount of Aave tokens can actually vote on some of the changes and upgrades to the protocol. You can go and see the details of every single upgrade. And obviously these are the people that voted for it. And these are the people that voted against it. You can see more details on all of the upgrades if you want to get into voting and actually participating in the future growth of the platform overall. We're gonna to come to lending now though, so we can come over to markets and then choose USDC. So we want to go and deposit some USDC and then lend it out on the platform. The first thing we need to do is actually deposit some of this coin to lend it out. So on the right hand side, 
we simply come and press deposit. Actually, because my wallet is already linked, it knows how much of this coin I have. So I have around 10 bucks in there, so I can deposit that right into the platform. Click on deposit and it will take you through to this screen. On the left-hand side, you can see some important information about deposit rates for that coin. And then come down to the middle and just choose how much you want to deposit onto the system. I'm gonna click max. Then we can just go through and press continue and it will open up our wallet and we need to agree or approve this transaction. So I'm gonna click approve right here. It will open up my MetaMask. And because I'm on the Polygon blockchain, I will be paying fees with Matic. And you can see the fees are basically non-existent, which is the massive advantage of the Polygon blockchain. You can see that that is going through right now. I then have to go and confirm this deposit because it's the first time I've deposited USDC onto the platform. And on the Polygon blockchain, fees are so low, which is obviously great and a lot lower than using the Ethereum mainnet. And within a few seconds, that will be deposited. Now that our USDC is deposited on the platform, we can come over to my dashboard and you can see USDC is right here. I have that amount on the system and it is being lent out right now, earning a yield for us currently 2.19% with those Matic tokens as a bonus. It's literally as easy as that to lend some money out on the Aave platform. It will do it automatically for you once you have those coins on the Aave platform going through that transaction. If you want to borrow any coins, you do have to have collateral on account first. As I said, US dollar tether, as you can see, I've got some in the wallet right here. It's earning me a 2.29% APR with some Matic tokens as a bonus. You cannot use it as collateral though. This may change when you're watching the video, so do watch out for that change. But certainly with USDC, I can turn this on and off, so I can use it as collateral to borrow against. We can then come up to the top and click on borrow. We're now given the variable APY that we will be paying if we want to borrow some coins. I'm going to click on USDC and we can come and see how much we can actually borrow. Aave will actually let me borrow almost eight bucks. And remember, I put about 10 bucks on the system and I can use that as collateral to borrow almost eight dollars. This is definitely not financial advice. I cannot give you that financial advice to say what you should be doing, but something Aave will do will give you this slider, so safe and riskier. Obviously, the less you borrow, then you're gonna be at a health factor somewhere on the left-hand side in green. If you are borrowing a very high amount, so $7, then it's obviously going to be riskier because potentially you cannot pay it back because you're borrowing a large amount of what you actually have as collateral. Like I said, this is not financial advice, but if you did want to go ahead and borrow something using that collateral, just go through the same process, click how much that you want to borrow, and that will initiate a transaction with your wallet, just like you saw when I deposited the funds. Coming back to our dashboard then, if you did have any funds borrowed, there would be a separate box on the right-hand side showing how much you have borrowed. And then on the left-hand side, this is our deposit information, how much we have on the system. And you can see, these actually changing. This is interest trickling in to our wallet as we speak. If I did go ahead and borrow some money, then obviously the current loan to value would have an amount in here. So how much are you loaning compared to the total value that you have as collateral? As you can see, my collateral right now, $9.87. The dashboard will give you all the information that you need in terms of how your deposits are working, how much interest you're earning, and how much interest you will have to pay on any borrowings. Also important is to claim any rewards that you have. Remember, I'm earning these rewards from the Polygon blockchain just for using the system as they are incentivizing use right now, and I can claim these rewards. Simply click on claim. I have 0.19 Matic tokens. I can claim these very easily by clicking on claim and it will initiate a, another transaction with my wallet. I can confirm that and just wait for that to go through on the blockchain. That literally went through within five seconds. So I can go back to my dashboard. I now don't have any coins because they are actually in my Polygon wallet for me. If you need step-by-step -step guides on how to use MetaMask, how to set up the Polygon blockchain and the Matic wallet, or how to use Binance to get some coins that you can transfer over and start using with Aave, all of those links, videos, and resources are in the description. Do subscribe for daily helpful crypto content, and I'll see you in the next one.